Welcome to our review on catalysts. So what we've done up until this point is we've looked through the different ways that we can actually increase the rate of a chemical reaction. And we've looked at four different ways that we can actually do that. So we can increase the temperature, we can increase the concentration, increase the pressure if we're talking about gases, or we can increase the surface area. So those are the four ways that we've looked at over the past few lessons that we can actually increase the rate at which a reaction occurs. One other way that we can actually increase the rate of these chemical reactions is by adding what's called a catalyst. Now, if we actually add a catalyst to the chemical reaction, what we're going to see is an increase in the rate. It won't change how much product we make, but it just makes that product be created faster. Now, when we look at the definition of our catalyst then, quite simply, what it is is a substance that's going to speed up the rate of a reaction, but it's not going to be used up itself. So even at the end of that reaction, our catalyst is still unchanged. One thing to bear in mind, though, is that when we're looking at these catalysts, they are specific to particular reactions. So a catalyst that works for one reaction might not actually work on a different one. One example of where we've seen a catalyst used is in our C2 topic from Core Science, where we looked at the harbour process. Now, that's how we make ammonia, and what we use there is an iron catalyst to speed up the rate of that reaction. One thing it would be good to do at this point is to have a little look back at the harbour process and see if you can remember the different conditions other than the iron catalyst that it needs to work. The last thing we've got here then is just a picture of the kind of graph you might see on your exam to do with a catalyst. So all we've got on there are three different lines. The green line at the bottom there shows our rate when we've got no catalyst added and you can see that we've made zero centimetres cubed of gas over the four minutes. If we added 0.2 grams of our catalyst, you can see the red line there shows that we've got that steady increase in the rate. And then if we added two grams of the same catalyst on that blue line, you can see there is an increase from our red line, but not significant. So what we can actually say there is that even if we add large quantities of the catalyst, it doesn't actually have a dramatic effect on the actual rate then, okay? Only a small volume of catalyst is needed to speed up that reaction.